What is going on guys vlog here and I'm back with another video and I'm going to be showing you guys how to record or all the ways to record your iOS device or your iOS screen with being jailbroken or without being jailbroken. So if you're jailbroken, all these methods will work. If you're not jailbroken, I will let you guys know um, which methods will work and which methods will not work. So method number one will not work, which is display recorder. Well, actually, it will work if you use the alternative, which I'll show at the end of the method. So let's just go ahead and begin and show you method number one. So the first method of recording is to actually use a display recorder. Um, you will need to be jailbroken in order to get this, and it does cost some money, but there's a way to get it for free. Um, I actually paid for mine, but feel free to get it for free if you want. But I, I would pay for it because, you know, it's supporting them. But feel free to get it whichever way you want. So once you pretty much get it and download it, you can go ahead and open the app and start recording right away. But I'm going to be showing you guys my settings for my device because a lot of people ask that and I don't know why. But ignore my rotation because um, it's on portrait. But for some reason, my iPad records portrait on landscape. I have no idea why, so just ignore that. Uh, mode is pre-calculated because you need that to record games. Video format is H.264. Um, you can add mic if you want. Video quality, high. Open Geo Capture, you need that on to record games. Grayscale off and scale, you can just leave it at full. And the rest is up to you. You can show taps if you want. Uh, web activation or what, you know, just pretty much up to you. Frame rate is all the way up. So those are my settings. Uh, lock frame rate is off. Then once you're done changing your settings, just go ahead and switch back to Display Recorder. And just tap start recording and it will immediately start recording and just go and start up the game you're going to record and you're done. Then once you are finished recording and you want to stop recording, just go ahead and switch back to display recorder and just tap on stop recording and you're done. Then you can just rename the recording if you want, upload it to YouTube, delete it, playback. You know, it's pretty much up to you what you want to do with the recording and that's really it. Now, if you want to drag this file to your computer to edit it and do whatever you want with it, um, there's actually two ways to do it. I'm going to be showing you guys both ways. So for the first method, you will need to have the same Wi-Fi connected on both devices, your computer and your iDevice. So switching back to Display Recorder, you will see a button at the bottom left saying Enable. Just go ahead and tap that and it'll give you like a local Wi-Fi IP address. You're going to need to switch your computer and type up that IP address and you can only access it if you are on the same Wi-Fi. So once you get to the website, you get to this menu type thingy and you do get some cool options like live view, which gives you a live view of your device and screenshot, which takes a screenshot and shows it on your computer. Then you can just click on your file and it will start downloading to your computer just like that. So the next way to get the file to your computer is to use iPhone Box. I will have the link in the description if you guys want to get iPhone Box. It's free. So you're going to need to have your iDevice connected to the computer and just open up iPhone Box. Once it's open, you're going to need to go to Raw File System and then you're going to need to go to this directory, Library slash Display Recorder. This is the directory where all your files will be stored, all the recordings will be stored. Then you can just go ahead and drag out the recording to your desktop and don't delete anything from that folder. And if you want to delete something, go ahead and go to the Display Recorder app and delete it from there because if you delete it from the folder, it's not actually going to delete it from the app. So if you are not jailbroken, the rest of the methods in this video will work no matter what. So you do not need to have a jailbroken device for the next two methods I'm about to show you, even for this one. There's actually a way to get a display recorder alternative on your non-jailbroken iDevice. So pretty much just go on the iDevice and open up Safari and go to emu for iOS.net. It will look like this. Make sure it looks like this. Then you have like a downloads tab. Click on it and make sure to read all the warnings and how to install and everything like that. Make sure to read everything, otherwise you'll probably mess up and it's not going to work. Then once you read everything, just go on and tap on applications and find record my screen or record screen. Right now, it does not work for iOS 7, but it does work for iOS 6. And you do not need to have a jailbroken device to use this. So that's an alternative for display recorder if you are not jailbroken. It works just like it. The quality is pretty good. It's pretty legit and it's pretty smooth. So that is the alternative way to get it on non jailbroken. So now I'm going to be showing you guys some example footage of display recorder in action so you guys can see how the quality looks like and everything. So here's the footage. So 
So the next way to record your iOS device, you do not need to have a jailbroken for this one, is to use Reflector or you can use Air Server, which is both for Mac and PC. Uh, it doesn't really matter which one you use, but for this video, I'm going to be using Reflector because, you know, I just picked randomly and I didn't want to show both in a video because it'll be a pretty long video showing both, but they're pretty much both the same. There's no different. I don't see a difference in quality. I think they're both the same. They're both good. So it's pretty much just up to you which one do you want to use. So I will have the links in the description if you guys want to check any of them out. You will need to be connected to the same internet connection as your PC is in in order for this to work for both programs. So remember that you will need to have the same internet connection on your iDevice and on your PC or Mac. So I'm going to go ahead and start by showing you guys Reflector. Reflector is actually pretty cool. You know, you can change some settings. You can change, you can add a frame skin when you're recording or just like a frame, you know. And Reflector also has a record button, so you do not need to use like a separate recorder to record. And its preferences are actually pretty cool. You can change its optimization for which device you want to optimize it for. So if you have like an iPhone 5 and you want to optimize it for that, you can just go ahead and click on that. And then you can change its AirPlay name, um, what it's going to show up on your iPhone or on AirPlay, whatever you're going to be using. So you can even add a password and you got some default preferences for the rest. So to set it up, if you're on iOS 7, all you need to do is swipe up to open up Control Center and then you'll see AirPlay. Then just tap on that and then tap on your computer name or whatever you set it to. Turn on mirroring and that's really it. You can just start recording from there. You just play around and start recording, you know. That's pretty much all you need to do. If you're on iOS 6 or below, just double click the home button, swipe left two times and you'll see an AirPlay button. Tap on that and then tap on your computer and tap on mirror. So that's really easy to record using Reflector or Air Server. They're both pretty good. Like I said, I don't see a difference in any of them. They're both good, but I just use Reflector for this video. You know, it's I just picked random and it was Reflector. So I will have both links in the description if you guys want to check them out. So this is Reflector or Air Server, which is a way to record your iOS device without being jailbroken. Now I'm gonna be showing you guys some example gameplay that was recorded using Reflector. So hopefully you guys like it and this is the example gameplay. The final method to recording your iOS device is to actually use a capture card. You will need an Apple AV digital adapter and you will need to get the correct one for your iOS device. So if you have like a lightning connector, make sure to get the one with the lightning. Or if you have like the 30 pin one, make sure to get the one with the 30 pin. So I have the one with the 30 pin and it's actually pretty easy to set up and it's pretty easy to use. All you need is an HDMI cable, the Apple digital AV adapter and a capture card and also a computer obviously to capture the gameplay. So for this video, I'm gonna be using the Elgato because that's the capture card I have and I can't show any other way because I don't have a different capture card. But the Elgato is actually pretty easy to set up and it's pretty small and portable so you can actually take it anywhere. So I'm gonna be using the Elgato but you can use a different capture card if you want. As long as it has an HDMI in port and it supports it and everything. I don't know, you're gonna have to do some research but I know for a fact that it does work with the Elgato. So setup is actually pretty easy. All you need to do is have your digital AV adapter connected to your iPad and plug in one of the ends of the HDMI cable to the HDMI port of the AV adapter and plug in the other end of the HDMI to the HDMI in of the Elgato and that's pretty much it. You're pretty much done and that's really it. It's a simple setup, nothing too difficult. So once you're done, just go ahead and open up your capture card program. So mine is the Game Capture HD program and I'm going to be opening up settings and you need to change some settings up in order for the program to go all out like pro stats for the iPad. So settings, input device, iPad, input, HDMI, HDMI color range, standard, profile, 1080p, HD 1080, quality, it's all the way at the best, preserve for source format, I don't know what that is, but I just ticked it. Well, actually it was already ticked. So picture and everything else is pretty much set to its default settings. So you can leave everything else the same unless you want to change it yourself. So those are my settings for the game capture HD. If you guys want to check them out or copy them or something. So once you're done changing your settings, you can just click the record button and that's really it. You're recording and there is going to be a tiny delay. It's not like lag or anything. It's just going to be like a delay. Like you move on your iPad 
and like 10 seconds later it happens on the screen so there's going to be a delay but there's absolutely no lag and the quality is like the best quality ever so so there's no lag and the quality is actually really really good but there is going to be a tiny delay on your computer screen so it's just a heads up just in case you guys get worried or you know some or if you think something is wrong or something but no it's just like a little tiny delay so nothing to worry about so now I'm going to be showing you guys some example gameplay footage using the Elgato. So that is it. Hope you guys learn how to record your iOS screen without being jailbroken and of course with being jailbroken. So thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.